A lot of people are eager to get back into those crowds in group settings, maybe a barbecue or maybe even a family get together. But research actually shows the risk you could put yourselves at if you do that. And meteorologist Tony Sadiku is breaking down a study and the shocking local numbers. By this point, we know the more people we're around, the closer we are, the higher our chances of being exposed to COVID-19. But this is perhaps the most compelling study I've seen showing why in a larger gathering, we're often more at risk than we might realize. A new study from Georgia Tech is breaking down county by county your risk of being exposed to COVID-19. The analysis looks at groups of different sizes. For instance, in Mecklenburg County, in a group of 100 people, which you might find at a church, bar, or concert, there's a 98% chance at least one person has COVID-19. If I told you there was a 98% chance of rain tomorrow, you'd probably plan your day differently, right? Well, that's similar to how researchers want you to look at this data. If you're thinking about having a group of 100, could you move that to an online format? Could you break it into smaller groups? You know, is it worth this huge risk that someone shows up who's infected? In surrounding counties, your risk is nearly 90% or higher as well. The COVID-19 event risk assessment tool is an estimate that takes the number of cases reported in the last two weeks in each county and multiplies it by a factor. One of our presets is this um, 10, time, 10 to 1 under ascertainment bias. So that could be people who um, aren't getting tested. It could be people who don't even have symptoms, um, just generally people who aren't showing up in the numbers. Now, how about say at a dinner party or backyard barbecue where you're sharing space with only 10 people? The chance at least one person is infected down from 98% to just 34% in Mecklenburg County. In either case, the risk doesn't go away. What do you say to people who, you know, may not be on board with the science, maybe reject some of the data? You know, why is, why is this important? Is when we're saying that um, there's a X percent risk that someone shows up to this event infected, you know, that one person could be you. Um, so I think it's really important to, even if you're personally like, don't care about getting the virus, thinking about what it would mean for other people and other families. Now they say it's important to note this analysis only looks at the risk of being exposed. It does not mean that is your chance of being infected.